Hello, good morning. My name is Muhammad Asim. Welcome back. Right. So now what we will do it, uh, let's go into real stuff, setting up your, our Windows Server, right? So what we will do it now quickly, we'll go and we will configure the first Windows Server. Now, if you check it over here in the dashboard, it is a, a EC2 services, right? Here you will to find uh, that launch instance, right? If I click on the launch instance, then the prompt will be coming. But uh, let me add that I'm adding, I'm giving it tag as Windows Server, right? Windows Server. Then you will to find that there is a multiple images, OS images available. Now, as we discussed that, we require Windows that is provided by Vacuum Software. Now, if you check over here, Amazon machine, they have given the machine which is coming in free tag. Okay. So, if you check, there is a multiple options which is coming in the free tag. You have to click whichever is suitable for you in your case, but in a tutorial, we'll go with the free tag option one. Right. So, if you check it over, he's saying that the architecture is 64, uh, machine ID is there, user is root, right? User is root, uh, everything is given. Then we will go with uh, E2 micro, more than enough. Right, it's coming with T2 family, one CPU and one GB memory, right? In the key pair, let's create one more, right? Windows key. Okay, Windows key. Yeah. Let's say, because I think I'm going to have in my account, but it's still no issue. So let's create on this key pair. So it will be in the download folder. Now, if you check it over, uh, network setting, I'm keeping default because we don't have uh, any VPC created in the real time scenario, you have to go your organization of VPC in the subnet. You have to uh, select as they defined by your organization. Mm -hmm. The firewall, as you say, that you know, uh, as I mentioned in our uh, layout, right in the drawing uh, aspect, which uh, let me just show you. I have said that we are going to open RDP port, okay? So before we select that, it's automatically when you're selecting with the Windows Server, right? Windows Server is automatically picked up. Uh, the port as RDP, right? RDP port, I'm clicking anyway. So that's fine for me. And the minimum also, see, it has taken DGB by itself default. So when you're going with uh, Microsoft, but it is picking everything. Okay? It will pick your RDP port first, where you're going to access, and GB next to it, DGB, okay? So in free tier, you can only configure one because in the free tier, you have only GB of free tier available, okay? So everything default summary is given over here. Uh, is going with the Windows Server, e 2 Micro Family, the new security group, right? It's saying that, you know, you can access only 30 GB of EBS. Okay, fine. But this is in my, uh, in my free time limit, launch instance. So it will take few minutes, like one minute or something else to up and down. It has created one instant ID. With this instant ID, you can access everything, uh, you know, all the details about this instance, which is going to be configured. Okay. So now if you check over here, you're able to find one IP is here you receive one IP that is a dynamic IP. Whenever I'm going to restart and reboot my server, I'm going to lose this public IP. Okay. So for our testing reason, it's fine. We are not going with elastic IP. If you want, you can go over here. You can create one elastic IP. You can add to this, uh, attach to this uh, instant ID so that you will not lose any IP address, right? In which so now if you click over here, it should pass instruction running, right? So it's showing T2 micro, then it's everything. Now, if, when we click on this window server, then I'm showing for connect option, right? It is showing me multiple option. Then we'll go with the RDP client, okay? So now the point is that, you know, the username, now what we will do it, uh, we will just, uh, we want to get the password now, okay? So the prompt, if you check it away, is giving the IP address get password if you click on the password right we are creating the password so in order to create the password what you do you need to re require is that you need to upload your key whatever the key you have created right to the here then the option is giving please upload your key let's click on this and i'm in the download folder then i have a windows key which i have created just now just i will upload then it's taking everything it's saying okay decrypt the password so what you will do it will decrypt the password, it will prompt me one password over here, which I'm going to save it over here, you know, password, which I, you have to keep it with you, to initialize to connect with your server. So what we did, we uploaded, uploaded M key, right, and we converted it to password, okay, password. 
password. Then we have got the password. Then we successfully what we will do it. We will uh, what we will do. We will go back over here. Then the interesting thing. Now the part what we require connect to your ECT instance that is successfully done. Now the first part what you need we need one SSS client. In this uh, we require one third party application which to which we are going to access this. So in this case, uh, you know we will session. If you click on the session, you will see a lot of ports, right? So if you check it over here. Right, you're able to find one is SSH, one is RDP. Okay, SSH for the Linux, RDP is for the Windows Server. Okay, hope you got my point. You'll find everywhere over here. Okay, so that point also clear. Let's go for the RDP, then it's asking you the details. Okay, the details what you require, you require the host IP. So, host IP, how we are going to get it? Just click on this, you'll get the IP right go over here give it over here ip is given right the username what i have the username as i say that it is administrator right if you connect over here in the here you will be finding the administrator okay let me copy this part just copy and i will paste it over here so that i should not do any mistake the port number for rdp is 3389 okay whereas in ssh you will find port 22 okay then afterwards, when I'm going to advanced setting, I don't require anything. Network setting is fine. Uh, let it be this one same. Okay. When I'm clicking OK, so it will prompt you the password to enter, right? So now here you have to whatever the password what you have created, you need to enter the password over here. Don't forget to copy from here to here and paste it over here, right? Show password and click OK what happened in the background whatever the key we have given first it will go and it will check right and now it's saying that you need to enter your master p everything for my use case i'll say the door don't require let's keep uh, the key as default okay so i'm going with this with the same way so we are able to find that you know we are logged in where we have logged into our Windows Server. 